Now to safety on the CTA. Tonight, CTA drivers say the violence on Chicago streets is putting their lives in danger. CBS 2's Jermont Terry reports drivers are demanding more protection after shots were fired at a CTA bus. Jermont. Eric and Brad, the violence in Chicago or the spike has really caught everyone's attention and CTA employees working these streets say they are seeing it firsthand. Now the transit union is demanding action for safety or else. We come here to move this city, not be attacked. The overnight incident where an upset CTA passenger pulled out a gun and fired at a bus brings the transit union president to a boiling point. He made a threat, told he's going to blow her brains out. That's, that's, a, that's a common thing for us. We endure that all day, every day. Keith Hill tells me there's true fear from CTA bus drivers. It's a deeper problem with the violence in Chicago that is spilt onto the transit system. Across CTA trains, buses, and stops, there have been 259 violent crimes throughout May of this year. In the same time frame of 2020, there were 311, but Hill says the numbers are higher. When a person swing on us and get off the bus and run, that's not recorded. Hill insisting many of the 6,000 members are scared to show up for their shift. If it's unsafe for us to drive up and down the street, we have no protection, nobody cares about us or concerned about us, the city's going to have a problem. The union is demanding CTA make Chicago police, which provides security, step up. They paid them $48 million or more a year for security that we don't see. And if those demands aren't met soon? Unsafe for you, them to work equals what? No buses. Hill would not say there will be a work strike, but adds CTA and the city has until the end of June before action over safety is taken. When you say there could be action over safety, that includes how many things of what? That has to come down from international. As I pressed him for clarification about action, he was able to further say this about parking CTA buses. Will your workers continue, drivers continue to show up to work? That's what we have to have a conversation about. Now, Hill is concerned when the city reopens this Friday that drivers will be targeted even more. The CTA telling us tonight that it will continue to work with the union to make sure that assaults on any of its employees are reduced. Also adding that they're always looking at ways to improve security. Reporting live downtown, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.